please let there be more. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we can break these. Oh, yeah. All about that cheddar. All right. Uh, we want to go up or right? Let's go up. So, two enemies. Oh, okay. What the hell? Whoa. Wait, these are... Are these the phantoms? These ones move. Oh, okay. Oh. I have to keep an eye on my health. <laughs> As always, really. What do we got here? I'm guessing the different colors refer to um, different rarities. This one's kind of shiny. Is this... Because I usually think white or gray is like the base level. 60 DPS. Siphon. Hmm. Does that mean we... It's like a vampire weapon? Or vampiric weapon? That might be interesting. Although, aspect cost is pretty high. Spirit dash. On activation, dash in your current movement direction. Oh. Oh, I want this. Oh, this isn't a built-in ability. Huh. Oh, man. Light mage cap. So, this... Quickness. I wonder what quickness is. But, I I'm sorry. I have to have dash. Where do we put this? Uh, up here? Hang on a second. How do I... Hang on a second. How do I do this? L shift. Left shift. Okay. And it looks like he phases out there, so I'm wondering if this would let me get through enemies. Let's try it out. Oh. Okay. It's alright. Let's try parrying this guy. I'm, I'm usually not good at parrying, and I like said I don't like having it on my spacebar. Oh, wow. I felt a hundred damage back to him. That's awesome. Oh, you know what? I wanted to see something. I wanted to see if the um, in-game options menu was a little bit different. Oh! Oh, sweet. Okay, well, let's see what we've got here that we don't already know about. Uh, obviously, we know how to move, we know how to interact, toggle inventory, map zoom. Oh, that's cool. We can zoom out the map, toggle map with escape, close with escape. I'm going to try something. I want to see if I can assign this to my... Oh, sweet. So I've assigned parry to my right mouse button. We'll see how that goes. And let's... It's not letting me zoom out the map. Or is it referring to... Wait, hang on a second. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of an issue with something. It said to get to the map. Hit escape. But that's not... That's to get to... Wait. Whoa, hang on a second. I'm a little confused here. I don't... Oh! That's odd. So, okay. If I hit escape, it brings up the in-game menu. If I go to options, or controls, and then I hit escape, it takes me right back here, instead of taking me back to the previous menu, which I would have thought, it's a minor thing, and I, I'm just trying to understand how the menus work a little bit. Now that I know, yeah, okay, but still, I don't know how to get to my map. It's not the F keys. Well, M, oh, there we go. But I can't zoom in or out. Again, it's a demo, so maybe something that's in progress. I'm not going to sweat it. Okay. Ooh, ten. Oh, shh. I wonder if I can parry those snot balls. Ow.
Uh, those chunkos are fast. There we go. Almost trying to get in the way of these guys' attacks so that I can parry them because it's pretty powerful. It does like 100 damage. Ah! I'm... Oh, hello! Hello, Vortexile. How are you? Doing alright. Just trying to um, get used to this game. So far, I like it. So far, it's really smooth. I have to ask, does Wizard have a name? Hey, not a problem, man. It it got the most votes. So his name is Ella's... Oh, I probably shouldn't say that. You probably shouldn't have said that. Now it's public knowledge. That's fine. I'll call him... Um, Mortimer. <laughs> I feel very special now. Oh, what have we got? So, yeah, I had a little bit of an issue with just, I, I didn't know what you meant by wand caps. I'm like, what is that? What does that mean? And then I realized what it was, was just the, the different abilities and they work with, now I understand a little bit about the synergy that you were mentioning on the Steam page, how um between the wand core and the wand caps, unless you're referring to something else, but it's kind of neat. It, you're, you basically have two aspects of one weapon. Usually any time you play a game, it's you have a weapon. And maybe you can have slots that attach to it and that you can't remove or, you know, things like that. But this is interesting. More tutorialization in the full game. That's fine. I, I sometimes like it when a game just throws me in to the deep end and it's like, nah, you figure it out. <laughs> I kind of like it sometimes. Oh, I didn't notice that. Auto-equip. Shift it. Oh, okay, cool. Sometimes uh, I think games hold your hand a little bit too much, especially, especially now. But when you go between, when you go back to a game that just throws you in, doesn't really explain much. You get relies on you to figure it out. It's always more satisfying when you do. Just wait till you meet the miser. Then you'll really be crafting. Hmm. Okay. Well. I'll quit jabbering, and let's do that. Hang on a second, I want to see what this does. So, actually, could you explain um, about the rarity of items in this game, just the, the color sequence? Because I gather that because this one's kind of glimmering, it is a higher uh, tier, like a higher rarity. Whereas I'm assuming this one, this like blue, gray, whatever color it is, is basic. This is common. Common, uncommon. I saw a gold earlier, but it didn't shimmer like this one. So I'm just curious. So let's try this weapon out. Let's see what it does. Oh, this is a... Oh, this is like firing a phaser. This is awesome. Now we got 11 enemies. Oh, okay. Neat, so I almost don't even need the healing spell for this. Oh shit, I'm getting cornered. Yeah, my timing with parrying is off. Oh, I guess that means the chest is... Nice, okay. Okay, so blue, gray, mundane, purple, enchanted, silver, mystic, and gold is enchanted. Wait, both purple and... You have purple enchanted, silver, mystic, and gold also enchanted? So this is a mystic weapon. Actually works pretty well, I kind of like it. I'm going to roll with this for a while. Actually, I'm going to slot this over to number one. Let's go down. Oh, so big room usually means lots of enemies, right? Oh, right, I forgot I have a... I forgot I have a dash ability. 
Yeah, that's actually something I, I found a little bit interesting. The decision that you made to not have uh, Dash be a built-in ability. Because um, usually most games will have it kind of baked in. So, can you tell me a little bit about um, what what went into that decision? Like, as far as, was it just a balancing issue, or... Let's see what we got. Cloak of Life. So this is an enchanted weapon, or enchanted item. Increase our health capacity to 150. That's sweet. Barbed Arcana. Ooh, bleed damage. Oh, decisions, decisions. This I already have. Should we go with this or this? I kind of like the higher health capacity. But I want to see what this weapon does. I'm, I'm going to focus on the, the weapons. I want to try as many different weapons as I can in the first playthrough. So let's see what this does. Oh, okay. So it does exactly what I would have thought. Oh. That's not bad. So it deals... Hang on a second. 10%. Yeah, that explains it. But wait, no, sorry, that's the wrong one. Um, bleed is 5 damage per second. Okay. A pillar of the design of the game is playing the game in as many unique ways as possible, hence you being able to select what you want your dash to be. I'm gonna stay in stream for support. I will be AFK for a few bits, though. Yeah, that's totally fine. I appreciate you answering my questions. Um, yeah, it's actually incredibly helpful. But yeah, if you've got other stuff to take care of, go right ahead. And thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. I just may come up with a, a list of questions and I'll wait till you're back and then I'll just throw them all at you at the same time. How about that? <laughs> so far, I don't even remember where I started, but I guess that's not important. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm almost dead. I need to move. Maybe I should switch to, not this one, the um, siphoning one. And learn to parry. Shoot. Hang on a second. Gotta get some some of these purple orbs. This, this is not regenerating fast enough. Not for me. That's weird. So those phantoms, at the first attack that you lay on them, they immediately shift away. I have to see. I have to pay attention to that. So I want to see if they always go behind you. Ooh, so this is, we now know, an ethereal item. Gain damage equivalent to aspect meter fullness. Wait, hang on a second. Gain damage? Like, this does damage to me? That's how I read that. I don't think that's how it's meant. Because uh, above that, it says increase damage. Let's try it. So, how much damage was this? The, the Arcana one was doing uh, 25. So... Then one shot with that should do 60? Ooh, hang on a second, let's see. Oh, not 60, but... That's doing a lot more than 25. Huh. Wicked. The weird thing is, the interesting thing is, it doesn't affect the bleed damage. So, the patient mage hat increases the base damage but not the damage, I guess, caused by secondary effects. So for this, it'll increase the base damage of 25, but it will not affect the bleed damage. Cool. I, that would have been way, way overpowered, though, if, if it was. Okay, let's stick down here. Only four enemies, that's good. 
Uh oh. One of them's uh what do I call him? A levy. Cause it gives it that green bar. Holy shit! Whoa! Oh, okay, we gotta do something about that. That's insane. Whoa! I was not expecting that. That was a crazy ability. So whenever I see one of those, I have to make that a priority. That's target number one. Otherwise, that's gonna ruin my day. Out of fulfillment. Full aspect recharge from chests. Oh, that one we had in... We had that one before, so... Meh. This one we already have. Hmm. Light mage cap. Gives us quickness and healing. Well, let's try it. Let's try it in place of this. Barb Darkana. I'm curious what it does. So it doesn't look like it does any damage at all, so it must be similar to this. Healing 2. Speed plus 200% for one second. So, this sounds like a secondary... Well, not a secondary, but another way of dashing. So what does this do? Oh, jeez. Can I... Can I use this with, uh... Oh, I can. <laughs> this is handy as hell. So this, this heals me as I do it, too. That's great. And I can keep these guys at bay. And just keep them penned in. That's... Okay. Oh, I got one. I parried one. I think I got two there. Uh-oh. Phasers are ineffective. Okay, so whenever you release the souls, it's definitely feels more challenging. Uh, let's go down. Let's see what's down here. 